In the last section, we use this console the lock function to lock something on the console. Now this console object is what we call a global object. That means it's a part of the global scope which we can access anywhere in any file. We have a bunch of other objects and functions that are also globally available in Node. For example, we have set timeout, which we have probably seen before. We use this to call a function after a delay, like one second, two second, whatever. So this is just a part of the standard JavaScript. We can use this on the client, we can use this inside of a browser, or even in Node. We also have clear timeout. Similarly, we have set interval, which we use to repeatedly call a function after a given delay. We also have clear interval, which we use to stop that function from being called repeatedly. These are the global objects in JavaScript. Now in Node, we have a couple of other global objects that you are going to learn about later in the second. Now in browsers, we have this window object that represents our global scope. It means all the variables and functions that are defined globally can be accessed via this window object. So we can call window.console.log or simply just console.log. JavaScript engine will prefix this statement with window because that's where this object is defined. Similarly, all these functions you see here are belong to the window app. So we can call window.setHamout or call it directly. By the same token, if we declare a variable, let's say message, that variable is also available via the window object. All right. However, in the last section, I told you that in Node we don't have a window object. Instead, we have another object called global. So all these functions and objects that we have here can be accessed via the global object. It means we can do global.console.log or global .set timeout, and so on. Of course, it's easier to use a shorthand instead of prefixing them with global. But one thing you need to know about Node is that these variables that we define here are not added to the global object. In other words, if we do a console.log of global.message, we are going to stay undefined on the console. Let me show you. I'm going to delete all the code here. Now open the shell or terminal and run node app.js. See, we get undefined. So as you can see, the variables and functions that we define here, they are not added to the global object. They are only scoped to this file app.js, not available outside of the file. And this is because of the node module system that you're gonna learn about in the next lecture.